Louis Oosthuizen is arguably one of the best golfers in the world. And in 2010, he won the Open Championship. A testament to his dedication, commitment, talent and drive. But the foundation of every major champion is their golf swing. And Louis has one of the best in the business. Don't take our word for it, just ask Louis's coach, Pete Cowan. People in the world have said, who's the best swing in the world? I mean, Jeff Ogilvy thinks Louis's got the best swing in the world. Ewan Murray thinks, you know, Louis's got the best swing in the world. I think he's got certainly one of the best swings in the world. I'd have to say that, because I've got a few more players. <laughs> but he certainly has, and when it's efficient, you know, and we saw that at the Open 2010, and the way he drove the ball, I mean, he killed the field there. I mean, it was unbelievable. The 2011 season may have been drawing to a close, but Oosthuizen was still hard at work out in Dubai, and Golfing World were on hand to witness Louis's gruelling two-hour training session as he continued to hone that picture-perfect swing. There's not much wrong with that, do we? We even brought along a toy of our own. The Exmo camera can film a golfer's swing at up to 6,000 frames a second. So, with the Exmo ready, time to capture the four key components of Louis' swing. Reliability, efficiency, flexibility and innovation. Reliability is so important for my swing because you want to know every time you, you tee it up that you're going to make the same swing over and over. If you make the same swing every time, um, you know, and you know you're swinging it well, that's all you need. You know, if you're playing well um, and you know you're swinging it consistent, you, you're not thinking about anything or pressure, you're just hitting it. And with a state-of-the-art monitor in place, Louis found some shade to analyse the reliability of that swing. Now, I don't want the club to be too far outside my hands, and uh, we've been working on it for a while. And then if you get to the top, you know, you, you want to get it on the same line down. And um, if I make a bad swing, it will, it will drop to my right hip and then I flick it over. And, and uh, yeah, that looks pretty good there. The best way of explaining it is to say, like, your golf swing's like a car, OK? And in your car, you've got an engine. What do you want an engine to do? Well, have as much power as possible and never miss a beat. And you've got a steering column that attaches to the four wheels, which drives the car. But there's a linkage between the two, right? So the same with the golf swing. The body action is the, go the engine room. The arm, hand and club movement are the steering. And so you've got to tie those two in. And the connection between the two is the shoulders. And so we need shoulder stability as well as mobility in the golf swing. The big thing what Pete told me is, you know, it's is how good your bad shot is. So if your bad shot is still good, you know, then, then you should be fine. My favourite saying is the road to success is always under construction. You never actually get there. Of course, you don't always find yourself in the perfect spot out on the course. So adaptability and flexibility, both physical and mental, need to be in your armoury. The importance of having flexibility in my swing is, you know, sometimes um, you got awkward stance, awkward shots you need to hit, and you know all kinds of different shots. And um, you need you need um, again to to see the shot that you that you want to hit, and just um, you know commit yourself to it, and trusting your swing, knowing that um, you can you can do it. And as any golfer will tell you, a touch of flexibility is a real crowd pleaser too. <laughs> a lot of times you have a shot that you know it's going to be difficult, but you can see yourself pulling it off and um, you hear the people standing um, behind you, yeah. what's he doing, and you can hear them whisper and you just got to forget about all that and try, you know, to do what you want to do and, and you know, once you, once you pull it off, um, they go crazy and, uh, you know, you feel, you feel quite good. You need to see a lot of shots, um, you know, that's uh, probably uh, why I'd, I enjoyed St Andrews that much, that the open week, because um, it's completely different shots to any other tree line golf course, you know, you can hit little low ones, 
You can take it on by going up in the air and um, all kinds of things. And um, you know, uh, you find yourself in spots on the golf courses, um, you know, behind a tree, but there's a way around it or over it or underneath it. And um, I think um, you need to see the shot, otherwise, um, you know, struggle to pull it off. Um, if you're just going to try it without really seeing it, uh, you're going to struggle. And if we're talking innovation, then we can't forget Louis' famous red dot that he used to focus his mind throughout his open triumph. You need to um, sometimes try different things. Um, a lot of times you find something in your swing that uh, you didn't know was there, good or bad. Um, and, uh, you know, it's very important um, to, to take that risk sometimes. Louis Oosthuizen has worked tirelessly on the four core elements of his swing to give him what every professional is looking for, the competitive edge. It seems to be working.